I'm not someone who's had sex. I'm not someone who masturbates. Those are just not things that are interesting to me. They're not things I've ever had a desire to do. I remember once in maybe year five or year six, my friends were talking about like, oh, which boys do you have a crush on? And I was like, I don't really have a crush on any of them. I mean, this one's nice to me, so I guess I like him. And that was kind of how I, how I looked at it. I didn't ever feel like a crush or like an excitement to be around any of these boys, but I was like, well, this boy is nice to me. That must mean I like him and I have a crush on him, but that was just someone being nice to me. And I look back at that and I, I really pick that up as a, an early sign of my asexuality because I just didn't experience these childhood crushes in the same way that everyone else used to. Did you feel different when people were talking about their, their own experiences? I did feel different. I felt like everyone kind of knew something that I didn't. When I went to college and like sixth form, that was when I really felt different because that was when everyone was exploring everything. They were exploring getting drunk for the first time, they were exploring like having first times, different genders, stuff like that, different identities as well. That was when I first really felt different. Can you describe exactly what asexuality is and means? Asexuality is defined as not experiencing sexual attraction. Uh, that just means that that's just not a part of my brain that clicks in the same way it does for everyone else. Some asexual people can still have sex, some don't. Some don't mind if it makes their partner happy and it's something they want to do, then that makes them happy as well. Uh, for me, sex is just not my kind of thing. I think it's a little bit icky, but asexuality is just not experiencing sexual attraction. Have you had sex before yourself? I have not had sex, no. I'm not someone who's had sex, I'm not someone who masturbates, those are just not things that are interesting to me, they're not things I've ever had a desire to do, I just kind of forget they exist sometimes. So how, do you, how do you feel towards sex then, on the whole? I, I don't get it, it just feels icky, why do you want to like do that. <laughs> That's how I feel when I, uh, when I kind of think about it. I'm not completely closed off to the concept of having sex in the future if I was very comfortable with a romantic partner, but I feel like I know on a fundamental level that I would not enjoy it, and if I tried it once, that would be the only time I ever had sex, because I just feel like it's not something I would enjoy. Not all asexual people identify as aromantic. So for example, myself, I identify as asexual and biromantic, which means I experience romantic attraction to two or more genders. In a film, like a rom-com or something like In Love Actually, you've got all of the, the cute little date stuff, the dancing at a party, the holding hands, the maybe like little peck on a cheek, stuff like that. That is like the romantic attraction. And then as soon as they go back to the person's flat and it starts to get like more intense, that's the sexual attraction. I like the first bit. I like the, the dates and the holding hands and just the romantic intimacy, but not the sexual stuff. That's how I've always described the distinction between the two. What sort of questions are you asked? I'm often asked questions like, how do you know you haven't met the right person? How do you know if you haven't tried it? How do you know that you've not just had bad sex in the past? Stuff like that. Oh, sometimes people say that, oh, you're just identifying that way because you've had some kind of sexual trauma in your past, which is not the case. I'm lucky enough to have not dealt with something like that and that has not affected how I identify as an asexual. And then you get comments just saying, oh, it's a phase, you know, you'll grow out of it. You're just a late bloomer. I hate being told that I haven't met the right person yet because you have so many people who are in relationships that are just the wrong relationships for them and they don't have to be waiting for the right person to know that they enjoy sex. 